Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today we're going to look at my tiny but mighty haul. And I only got a few books, you know, they're right here, you can see them. I'm saving the supplies over there for later because <laughs> they're the best part of this haul. Although these books are fabulous, they're the best part of this haul. And that comes from a person who I'm all about the books and not so much about the multitude of supplies. You know, like I only have a few color pencil sets and kind of just, I don't know, mostly like kind of one of everything. I I, I kind of pick my, like I like certain acrylic paints, so I have a bunch of colors of that particular type of acrylic paint and then I'm done. But um, yeah, went a little crazy over here with some good stuff that I'm super excited about, so... We'll do that last, because that's the, that's the best part. All right, so the Princess Coloring Book. I have wanted for years and years and years, and I tried to look for it years ago and gave up because it, it didn't seem available. But then Maya showed it again on her channel, and she said it was newly available. So I don't know what happened with that, if they reprinted it or just brought it out again sometimes that happens with books I got the Spongebob book because they decided to reprint it many years later after having no copies available so yes thank you Maya for coming up with that for us I just shot right before this I just shot a flip through of this the Lost Forest book by Ghost Shrimp really good book i'm probably gonna post these both on the same day there's gonna be a flurry of videos this weekend i don't have time during my i work a four day 10 hour shift and you know an hour commute each way i have no time for youtube on those four days my life grinds to a halt those four days go shrimp um is he was a new york times and a new yorker illustrator and he also did work on Adventure Time for Cartoon Network so he may be famous um, but his drawing style is amazing I like it it's both cute yet edgy y'all know I like the edgy Let me turn that off will that help no that makes it dark all right we have word shadows um most unusual trees ever. I have a lot of trees. <laughs> Books with trees, too. So, I really, of course, like the sceneries, but gosh, all the pages are good. Even the ones that have, like, a big image just kind of in the center. I feel like there's, there's a lot to be able to do with that. So, you want to see more about ghost shrimp? Check out my flip through which is probably going to go up a few minutes before this one. So check that out. And then wanted for a long, 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 long time. You know, some books are hard to get a hold of. I've been stocking this one for a very long time and I finally found it. You know, sometimes you don't see it for a few months, you give up and then you'll see it on somebody's channel and you'll be like, oh yeah, I've been looking for that. And you'll try again and it'll be there. And it was so the Mysterious Library, uh, I don't know who colored this, or who drew it, hmm, I think it came from far away, it seemed like it took a long time to get here, coloring is spelled the U.S. way, translation, cover design, ah, illustrated, there we go. Uh, okay, uh, I can't even say that. Unji Park, maybe? I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. This book is tiny. Look at that. I thought it was going to be a much bigger book. Now, it's a 10 by 10. The pages are big, but it's a skinny little book. The pages are thinner than most of our, you know big publisher books too so I'm not sure water medium is going to work and they're double sided so not sure water medium is going to work on these pages very thin but beautiful imagery 
in this book. I really like this one. This might be the one to start with, maybe. I like that. It's like a little mandala in each different bed section. Love her dress. I've seen this page done a million times, it seems like. So an old, old book. At first I thought this was Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't know. I'll have to look in the back. Oh, you can't even see all of that. Um, because there seems to be a Beanstalk, but I just don't remember a boat in Jack and the Beanstalk. Or maybe this is about a girl traveling through the various fairy tales, which that might make sense then. Actually, that's probably it. Love this whale picture with the unusual trees. I want to do that one too. All right, long coveted book. And another hard to get one, as I'm not sure they're making it anymore, but I did find a, an eBay seller who had a bunch of them, and it was only $5 and like $4 to ship it. So I'm like, yeah, I'm getting that one. All right, so imagine, mythographic imagine. And then I only looked for it because I was having a conversation with, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm unprepared for this video. Um, I can't remember who. Sorry, very sorry. Apologize profusely. Who told me that it had nice thick line work. And these early books have very few, only five of those pesky little hidden objects. Um, and I got all the early Joseph Cattenbang ones because I like them, but I like that this has thicker line work. Some of the line work is getting so thin in some of those. It's like, how am I supposed to like not go out of the line if your line is so thin? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, some of his best work here. So I think that they might not be making this one anymore. I'm not really sure. Okay. Now for the best part. Okay. The 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 good stuff. All right. So I'm going to bring out something old here first. And we're going to look at it. So this is my Hemi gouache that I was so excited to get. And now I haven't even had it out for like, I don't know, eight months or something? Nine months? Because I think I got it and then, and then I was moving. It, it was in storage for like four months. It was packed for some time before that. Um, it it came early to Oklahoma and I didn't, I came later. So yeah, let's see how it looks right now. So, although these can be reconstituted. Oh, wow. It like, okay, it traveled really well. Although I was very careful to try to keep it in the bag with it straight and not like have it dump upside down or something. Um, yeah, a little dried out, but it's looking, it's looking good. Oh, okay. Not as dried out as I thought. Okay. Wow. I'm impressed. Good job. The trick on these is to really, I think it's pretty airtight. But you have to really make sure you get, like, it wasn't snapped down there. You have to really make sure you snap it down. All right, so I love these Hemi gouaches. I was so excited. I haven't used them enough. I want to use them much more. Now that maybe I'm settled, I can I can do that. And maybe if I quit my job, I'm seriously thinking about, but um, I will have time to do that. So what did I get you ask? That's so exciting. Several things, tiny but mighty. There's not a lot, but I did get. This is supposed to be 
the Hemi Gouache's Pastel Set. Ah! Squeal, squeal of delight here. Which means if they're really pastel, that means I don't have to waste my precious white over there to make all the pastel colors myself. So I usually don't unbox on, on camera, but it's so special today we're doing that. So I apologize, you might want to fast forward while I while, while the plastic wins, wins over the robot here. Okay. We're almost there, almost there. And I was inspired, I saw, so it was bam, bam, bam. I saw Melissa Arts painting with her, she has like the big, huge white set, painting with her Hemi gouaches in a Hannah Carlson book. And I'm like, oh, I need to get those out and paint with them. And then, I don't know, a few days later, maybe the same day, I don't even know, on Poet's channel, she's like, they have pastel, pastel gouache. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, awesome. I need to get that. And then that made me remember that I had saved because I have a four day work week, 10 hour shifts where no life happens except working because <laughs> there's no time. Um, I had remembered that I saved Bianca's uh, video about uh, painting with her gouaches or something like that. I'll link it below for you. It is an awesome video. Awesome. How she uses the Hemi gouaches. Very impressed. She uses them like a watercolor. I also like them when people use them very thickly and they look more like mm, acrylic or oil painting. So those three, those three people are responsible for this. We'll, we'll say that. All right. Let's see here. Oh, oh, wow. Now they have side ones, too. Okay. If we can get it apart. Maybe. All right. So. All right. So I'm not going to open these on camera. I'm going to shoot a different video where I've already opened them. And I'll do kind of a playing with video. But these are the colors. They look nice. Oh, I can't wait to. Like I said, there's going to be a flurry of videos this weekend. We got a teeny little palette. Their palettes stain. And I will use them for a little while. But once they probably get too stained, I'll stop using them. I have a bunch of uh, palettes that I made myself because I was a ceramics teacher, so I could do that. Um, and I use those. They're all being used. Or acrylic paint they have acrylic paint all over them so I probably will continue to use these for a little while for my gouaches but um, maybe I should make myself some more ceramic palettes although I don't have a kiln <laughs> so, so yeah their palettes do stain and I'm gonna assume that this palette will stain too but I'm gonna we'll, we'll play with it in a video where I play with my new my new pastel gouaches so be looking for that this weekend We'll have them open. We'll play with them. I'll probably have them already swatched. and Or maybe I'll do a swatching. I don't know. Super excited. Very excited about that. All right. And probably the best thing. Let me get it out here. Where have these been my whole life? And I hope that they really work out. Um, now, I saw... I was inspired by... Coloring with V or coloring at V's. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, she was doing one of her finished pages things and she's like, I got these granulating colors and she was showing this finished pages and it had all these variations of color. And I tried to get effects like that for years with acrylic paint and watercolors on my abstract expressionist paintings. And now they have granulating colors that just do it for you. I'm <laughs> like, where has this been my whole life? So I was also inspired by uh, Coloring F's channel. She said the same thing. She was using her granulating watercolors. And all you have to do with them is paint with them. With like one color. So I went and on a search for granulating watercolors. Um, first of all, I did a few YouTube 
things to see, you know, what they were, how they work, yada, yada, yada. Um, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I need those in my life. So, you know, we couldn't just get one thing. We had to get, like, all of the ones I could find. I saw no videos of this, so I'll do a video of this. Um, the Gam Ganzai Tambi granulating, gra okay, I could talk, granulating watercolors. Uh, they look very promising. Like, they look like they have different colors in them, more so than these may be. But I don't know, I didn't, I wasn't able to see any of these in action online, so I'll be shooting a video about that. And I got both of the, oh gosh, what are these called? Hmm, White Knights. Sorry, it's none. <laughs> it's not. I don't see it anywhere on there. Oh, here we go. Here's the English side. Okay, <laughs> White Knights. Uh, now, I have seen this one on other people's channels before. I think I saw it on Maya's channel. I think she had this one, maybe. Um, so I got that one, and then I saw that they had another one, and then there was a big one with... So this has 12 and 12. There was a big one with 21 colors. So me, being me, I had to like write down all the colors that were in here, and all the colors that were in here, and all the colors that were in the 21 color thing to see what I was missing. And in the end, I'm like... I don't want to be missing any of these fabulous colors. I mean, this awesomeness. We can't We can't have any missing colors. And then, on the same site, I found that there's three other granulating colors. I'll link everything below for you. That are not in these sets. So, I had to get those two. These sets are very reasonably priced. Not so much these. These were like 12 or 13 a piece. Where the whole set costs like around that much something close to that there is oh, can't even see this is blue mist this is orange mist I definitely had to have the orange because why would we not want orange and blue gray mist probably could have done without that one there's similar ones in here one of these uh, but you know in the end I'm like oh I'll just get it because why not Life is short, and I don't generally buy a whole bunch of supplies. So, let's look at the lovely goodness here. I'm not going to open these on camera or anything. I'll have a separate video of where I'm they're opened and I'm playing with them. It does not come with a little brush, I guess. Although it comes with words in another language. Probably Russian. Very cool looking. Oh, excellent little swatch sheet. We definitely want to use that. Although, I don't know. I might have to make a bigger swatch sheet because I want to see them granulate. All right. So that's all the lovely goodness. You get violet shadows, blue shadows, cobalt mist, dark blue shadows. Can't even read that. Tiga mist? Tiga mist? Uh, lilac mist? Green shadows? Aquamarine mist? Gray rose mist? That seems promising. Sky blue shadows? Hematite mist? Violet mist? Alright, so that was... Does this have a name? Uh... No name that I can tell. It's more of the like bluey nighttime colors, I guess. I don't know. Space colors? Okay. Looks like this one's been opened before, or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just torn. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, this one. Granulation and natural earth. This one was just granulation. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Can't get it open. Am I going on? I'm not on the right way. Okay. There we go. So same swatch card. Same mysterious words. 
and ooh, I gosh, I don't know which I might I might actually like this set better, but I don't know. We have to play with them and see. We've got yeah, okay. I need better glasses for this. Where's my other glasses? Nowhere to be found. All right. Uh, yellow tough, scarlet mist, green mist, red brown hematite. Ruby Mist, Yellowish Green Mist, Gray Violet Granite, Rose Mist, Chromium Cobalt Mist, Augit. Oh my gosh, I can't even say that. I don't know what that is. Can you see that? Do we have the light right? Augite. Poor. Poor. Yeah, don't know. Mystery color. Uh, turquoise rose mist, gray rose mist. Woo! So exciting. Can't wait to play with these. All right. I think that's all for my tiny but mighty haul. Um, after this, I'm going to be shooting, playing with all these different things. So like I said, there's going to be a flurry of about, I don't know, four or five videos going up this weekend. So check back and see if they're up. All right. I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.